can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and today I'm at the shop First time I've been here in like a week. You guys know I've been making content at the garage trying to stay home quarantine free You guys were telling me also how come I didn't have, you know, how come I haven't been wearing gloves and all that stuff Um, I have like a hand sanitizer I take everywhere with me and I wipe my hands every place that I go So I'm pretty I'm keeping safe, but I'm not really wearing gloves and a mask and all that stuff I think obviously stay safe and if you guys want to wear a mask wear a mask And if you guys are trying to wear gloves, that's what I honestly recommend I wear gloves I go into a place and then before I get into the car I take them off and I touch my door handle with my hands a set of the gloves and that's pretty much what I do most of that's off camera and if you guys see me then I pretty much I'm just going hand bareless pretty, pretty much so welcome back to the shop guys um, so this is the first time we got both lifts up uh, as you guys can see we have a Corvette C7 on a lift that is John's one of John's customers they're getting like a chassis mounted splitter so uh, I'm, I'm gonna tell the viewers right now that I'm going with a splitter on my carbon lift so I don't destroy it. You guys can see uh, what John does basically, this guy already has a carbon lip. This came with the car, right? Or this is an aftermarket one? Uh, these do come with the car. Oh, but these? This one is an aftermarket After one. After one, but they- have a splitter and he, okay. he messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> he messed it up. But uh, basically, this is the, this is a chassis mounted one? Yeah, this is the lip and it adds style to it. But then again, it also protects the bottom of the car, it, it replaces your under tray. And it looks sick. I mean, you guys know, I mean, this should, so if anything's on the road and it hits this, it shouldn't get to my lip, right? Yeah. So my lip should be most times good. If anything, like a rock chip and I can repair that. So I destroyed my lip completely. This is a must have. So we're gonna go ahead and do one of these. You guys, let me know um, what kind of style. I should, you, you just go with the body lines pretty much? Uh, basically, yeah. Sometimes I add more aggressiveness with a sharper line or sometimes I go soft depending on the, what the customer wants. Okay, cool, cool. So we're definitely doing that, and uh, yeah. So you guys will see that hopefully in a future video, probably in the, maybe even the next video. We'll see. Um, right now we're just gonna try to get my lip on. Right now we want to try to get this lift together, guys. Check it out. We actually have some lifts up in the garage. Like, oh my god, we're gonna have we're gonna do so many cool projects. Hopefully when I get the 100k build, I'll be able to start working underneath the car and do a bunch of crazy stuff. But yeah, as you guys can see, this one has the arms on there. This one does not. So that's what we're gonna be putting on today. Hopefully getting this work, lift to work, and hopefully getting my car on the lift. That's kind of like one of the angle of today I want to do. Another the thing is I want to go ahead and trim this and put it on hopefully this will look sick and then last but not least I want to put on the carbon fiber lip so I want to do all that in this video so if you guys want to see all that make sure to stay tuned without further ado um let's go ahead and start working on the trimming piece for the hood I really want to get that piece on the hood I'm sure you guys missed this tripod I, I forgot it here and I haven't had a tripod this entire week I've been literally just setting you guys down like this so uh yeah I did it was it's been pretty rough so who's this little dude Layla what's going on girl Oh shit, she looked you guys. Oh man, she's so cute. She's so nice. Normally dogs like just jump all over me and stuff. I'm not trying to deal with that. And Devon, my dude, no corona. <laughs> Damn, so what's going on with this car? What's going on? Hopefully, hopefully. First time I've ever seen it clean. <laughs> But alrighty guys, let's go ahead and trim that little piece because I really wanna I really wanna slap this on. So let's go ahead and trim it. Alright guys, I'm able to close the hood now with it which is perfect, but my only issue is it's slightly touching right here, so I'm just gonna trim it a little bit more in this direction, and I think I should be good. So I'm just gonna trim it a little bit more. Hood is closed, as you guys can see. Trim piece is in there. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little hole here that I kind of messed up, and I just tried to make it work, so that is unfortunate. Uh, this whole line, I pretty much cut it according to the intake, so as you guys can see, now the intake actually closes. It looks really good from this angle. You guys can't even tell from anything. From all angles, it looks perfect. Um, even this angle looks really good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just from literally this angle right here You can tell with that and that but that's not a big deal. That's actually not a big deal at all I'm perfectly okay with that. It looks so much better. I love that accent thick f30 told me and some of you guys told me to paint this gloss black So I'm gonna take that down to the shop Hopefully gonna paint in gloss black but for the meantime guys guys Let's go ahead and install the lift because I've been meaning to do the lift for so long now We finally got it. So let's go ahead and do it. We just went ahead and finish up that little trim piece mission complete uh, Devon's working on the lift. Uh, what are you doing up there exactly? So this goes up and down. It doesn't go high enough on this side. Yeah, I noticed that. Okay. So let me get it tighter up top. So the pulley has less room to travel, so it'll be tighter. Okay, cool, cool. 
Uh, if you guys don't know what he's talking about, it's basically, this is like the braking mechanism that you guys hear. Whenever the lift goes up, you hear like a little clank, clank, clank. That's what this thing is. And that's pretty much like an emergency brake and you can pull it when it goes down or basically when it clanks every time it locks it in. So he's just making sure it's tighter. So obviously we're safer. Um, so shout out to Devon. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and install all the arms, right? Yeah. And then that's it, right? It should be done. So that should be sick. And then hopefully, you know, we might, we might get Josh's big old van on the lift just to test it. Cause I mean, that thing's a lot heavier. And uh, if it survives, it survives. And then, you know, then I know I can put my car on there. Huh? You gotta, go for it. you gotta send it. You know, if I I know it has full coverage, but the insurance I'm not gonna be able to explain to the insurance on my cars. Yeah, I'd be like I aired out, and you know, it just slammed. It just you know, shit happens in life, you know. Anywho, uh, so I'm gonna just put it on a time lapse. I hope you guys should see us fully assemble this lift and start using it. We finally got all the legs on here, so it's pretty much ready to be used. Uh, Devon just went ahead and uh, pretty much wired in the brake. So now that we have the braking system, we're 100% sure that it shouldn't just fail on us. Then uh, I think it's time for testing. I think what better car with ah? I think what better car? What better car? What better car? What better car than to do it on the 435? So we're gonna go ahead and bring the 435 in here. And uh, I, this is, the problem is these are pretty low, unfortunately. So I don't have the little spacer. One of them are missing, so we're gonna have to order that. Um, we have three out of the four, so it is what it is. Um, but I think my car should still be able to, should still be able to clear. So I'll go ahead and bring it in here, air up, let's see. And uh, hopefully I don't die, so. All right guys, so uh, it looks like I do have to jack up my, this is aired up all the way. And uh, by the way, I'm using Jonathan's camera, so shout out to Jonathan. I forgot my batteries at home, but uh, I need to jack it up just ever so slightly, and then I'll be able to actually jack up the car. So let me just uh, let me go ahead and jack up the car, put it on the lift things, and then this is a little interesting. I never I never had to deal with this, but uh, we'll go ahead and try it all together. The car is officially on the lift. 435 is up, shout out to John, thank you. Um, so now that the car is up, I should pretty much, look at, look how much easier it is to work on a car. Like if, if I gotta do my cat, which I wanna do the cat of downpipe soon, it's right there. Like look how sick that is. I can finally do my own transmission pan work, I can drain my own oil. This is like the first time I've ever been able to just go underneath my own car, so that's pretty sick. You guys can see my little exhaust work here. Pretty janky, not gonna lie, but uh, it is what it is. So right now, we're just gonna go ahead and take off this rear bumper, I mean the front bumper, so I actually do need to remove some of the screws on the top. Let's remove all the ones on the bottom that we can visually see, and then, uh, you know, just work with it. We can move it up and down, so that's sick. So, time lapse mode. As you guys can see, John's just screwing it in. He's just making it a lot better. I don't like yeah. this 3M. So he's screwing it in everything, making sure it's perfect. And you guys see it's pretty flat. So we know what we're gonna do next. Splitters. We're gonna have something that extends to where if I actually hit anything, it shouldn't destroy my lip. If anything, it would destroy the splitter. And you know, John, the we plug know, for a new we splitter. We know a guy. We know we, a guy. We, we know a guy for a splitter. So I don't want to ruin these lips from keys. And a little story real quick. So uh, this is FYI, the third lip from Keys Motorsports that's on this car. So the first slip, uh, it got destroyed by a tire. There was some tire marks, that's how we figured out it was a tire. Again, John with his beautiful eyes, uh, he was able to distinguish it was a tire that destroyed my first slip. So that was unfortunate. Um, second lip actually came in two weeks ago and uh, I didn't know it came in. So- You didn't know it um, came in? I didn't know it came in for like five days. So. My dad put it in the garage, and then my dumbass was cleaning out the garage, and I threw out the lip. Are you serious? So, no way. That's what I put my second lip. Are you serious right I'm now? I'm being dead ass. So I messaged Keys, I was like, yo, Bruh. listen, I'm so sorry, <laughs> this is what happened, I'll pay for everything. I was like, I felt super bad. Um, and then, he, and then you know, uh, we, we, we came down to an equilibrium, 
<laughs> lip <Comic> rounds. <laughs> and then we got ourselves another lip. So, uh, oh my yeah, God. shout out to Keys for putting up with my shit because uh, I cannot believe I threw away a, a carp. I know I'm gonna get so much shit for this. Like, all honesty, guys, I didn't know it came in, and my dad literally put it next to all the garbage. So, I'm not blaming my dad because I should have checked. If a box is sealed, don't throw that out. So, I mean, Bro. lesson to be learned. Don't throw away carbon fiber lips, you know? Like, just. That, this, I, can, I actually didn't know you did that. The box now. was the size of this thing. I don't I even know. know how it's <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like, bro, how did you even mess that up? I don't like... know, because I had another box that exact same size full of garbage. Yeah. So that one was heavier, full of garbage, and the other one was like, felt like nothing. So you thought it was? <laughs> I thought it was garbage. This pigment's a lot better than the last one. I don't know what happened, but it's looking really good. Again, like, check it out, dude. Bring him real close. So this gap here on the last one used to be terrible. This is nothing. Pretty flush here, goes right around here, and it's like literally against the bumper here. That's That's yeah. clean. So, uh, link down below if you guys want to, you know, check it out for yourself. Um, and since this is flat, you guys can even add splitters and stuff. And I might even do with the canards, you know, on the sides. Mm -hmm. I might get two of those. Ooh. So we'll see what we're gonna be doing. Don't mind the. We'll, we'll get that fixed. <laughs> um, anywho, dude, I like the third person stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty cool. Um, and let me bring you guys down here real quick. Just take a look at it. You just need a full-time uh, videographer. Uh, I'm here. I got my mechanic, I got my videographer. Oh my God. Good, we're going good. Well, we're putting the bolts on, you know, the washers are in there and everything. It's going good, back oh to you. Back to you. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> we're back. Yeah, bro, look how good it looks. Dude, it looks oh crazy. God, we need to go so take much. pictures. We're gonna get pictures right yeah, after Yeah, we're gonna go take pictures. It needs a wash. It does need a wash. And then my car needs a wash too, but yeah. let's maybe do that and then we'll go that, take some pictures. Take pictures then... Yeah, it's gonna be chill. Guys, <laughs> the, the lip makes the whole car right now. Oh my God, the accent right there. The carbon fiber lip. We definitely need the spitter and the spitter, the splitter. <laughs> Oh, guys, I'm gonna be driving up so high the next couple of days because I am not risking this flip. So we're gonna be going through fitted racing for the front splitter. It's gonna be chassis mounted and it's gonna extend even more outwards to protect the carbon fiber. So that's what we're gonna be doing hopefully in a future video, maybe even the next video. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure to smash that like button and uh, go ahead and pull the car out real quick. Give it a good wash and uh, maybe take a few photos. Fully cleaned up. I just noticed a rock chip here on the door, which is really upsetting. And then the bumper has a lot of rock chips. We're almost ready. So pretty much what we're gonna do is just go out for a few photos for Instagram. If you guys are not following me so far, check it out down below. And Jonathan's gonna be taking my photos. So check out Jonathan's link down below as well. He's using that camera too. He's gonna be using the camera you guys are seeing right now. Shout out to Jonathan, let me borrow the camera. So shout out to John, link down below. So basically <laughs> my camera died and he's gonna be taking me some photos. So that's gonna be sick. Hey guys, without further ado, I'll catch you guys at a photo location. We're literally posted in the middle of the road right now, but uh, I don't think any, any cars are gonna come. I don't think so. so. Dude, oh my God. It looks insane right It here. looks insane right, right here. here. Let me just put this lens on right here. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. So anyways, I'll catch you guys uh, probably the next video. Um, all these pictures are about to go up on my Instagram and your Instagram. Yeah. So check out both of our Instagrams linked down below. Just pop up the names over here and everything, all that good stuff. Anywho, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.